Welcome to Sat to Carry you Online Nursing Channel. In this video, we are going to see 10 questions from the previous year question paper of AIMS Staff Nurse and Nursing Officer Recruitment Exams. Before going to today's video, you can subscribe our online nursing channel, Sat to Carry you Online Nursing Channel. And you also can follow our channel in our Facebook. The Facebook link will be given in the description box. Also, you can join in our WhatsApp group to get more updates about AIMS questions as well as lot of nursing officer exams related questions. Okay, before going to today's video, I welcome you all again. And now we go to the first question. Which cell secretes mucus that help protect the lungs by trapping debris in the respiratory tract? Number one type 1 pneumocyte, type 2 pneumocytes, goblet cells, adipose tissue. In this which cell secretes the mucus which protects the lungs by trapping debris in the respiratory tract? The right answer is goblet cells. Let's see the rationale. These cells found scattered among the epithelial lining of organs such as the intestinal and respiratory tracts. They are found inside the trachea, bronchus and larger bronchioles in respiratory tract. The main role of goblet cell is to secrete mucus in order to protect the mucosae where they are found. Question number two. Which of the following is not an anti-emetic? Number 1, Marinol. Number 2, Dramamine. Number 3, Benadryl. Number 4, Alivair. Which of the following is not an anti-emetic drug? The right answer is Alivair. Alivair is a mucolytic agent. Question number 3. The nurse is caring for the child admitted with viral pneumonia. Which of the following nursing diagnosis should receive priority? Number one, nutrition altered, less than body requirements. Number two, ineffective airway clearance. Number three, fluid volume deficit. Number four, risk for injury. Among these four nursing diagnoses, the priority goes to ineffective airway clearance. What is the reason? Clearance of patient airway gets the first priority among other nursing diagnosis in order that patient should survive his airway must be patent let's go to the next question an adult to have a tepid sponge bath to lower his fever what temperature should the nurse make the water number one 65 degree fahrenheit number two 90 degree fahrenheit Number 3, 110 degree Fahrenheit and number 4 is 105 degree Fahrenheit. For tepid sponge, the water temperature should be 90 degree Fahrenheit. What is the rational? 90 degree Fahrenheit is the recommended temperature for the water used for the tepid sponge. Question number 6. All of the following are the risk factors for nosocomial infection except number one poor hand washing, number two using sterile techniques, number three contamination of closed drain system, number four improper procedure technique. In this which is not the risk factor for nosocomial infection, the right answer is using sterile techniques will prevent nasocomial infection whereas poor hand washing, contamination of closed drainage system, improper procedure techniques all increases the risk of nasocomial infections. Next question. A 25 year old male is brought to the emergency room with a piece of metal in his eyes. The first action the nurse should take is Use, use a magnet to remove the object. Rinse the eye thoroughly with saline. Option 3. Cover both eyes with paper cups. Option 4. 
touch the affected eyes or a client who is having metal in his eyes the nurse should do immediately which intervention among these four the right answer is cover both eyes with paper cuffs let's see the rational covering both eyes prevents consensual movement of the affected eyes answer one is incorrect nurse should not attempt to remove the objects from the eye because this might cause trauma rinsing the eyes with the order of physician is advisable always seventh question a physician orders lactate ringer solution to infuse at 125 cc per hour this is an example for which type of solution option a hypotonic option b isotonic option 3 hypertonic option 4 hyper elimination lactator ringer solution belongs to hypertonic solution next question how many minutes are allowed to pass if the client had engaged in strenuous activities smoke or ingested caffeine before taking his or her blood pressure option 1 5 minutes option 2 10 minutes option 3 15 minutes option 4 30 minutes we need to pause taking blood pressure for the patient or for the client who had strenuous activities who had ingested caffeine or who had smoked for 30 minutes minimum next question the nurse is performing pin side care on a client in skeletal traction which normal finding the nurse expect to note when assessing the pin sites number one loose but intact pin sites number two clear drainage from the pin sites number three prolonged dam drainage from the pin sites number four redness and swelling around the pin sites the right answer is clear drainage from the pin site the nurse should note for clear drainage from the pin site when she care for a client with skeletal traction let's see the rational here a small amount of clear drainage may be expected after cleaning and removing crusting around the pin sites of skeletal traction pin should not be loose if this is noted, notify the doctor. Purulent drainage and redness swelling around the pin sites may be an indicative of an infection. So the right answer is option 2. Next question. The nurse is caring for the client who is scheduled to have biopsy. Before the procedure, it is important for the nurse to assess which parameter to ensure client safety number one tolerance for pain number two allergy to iodine or shellfish number three history of nausea and vomiting number four ability to lie still and hold the breath the right answer here is ability to lie still and hold the breath what is the rationale for this Assessment of patient for his ability to lie still and hold the breath for the procedure. This helps the physician to avoid puncturing of the lung or other organs. That we come to the end of today's lecture. Thanks for watching this video. And don't forget to subscribe our YouTube online nursing channel, Satu Care You. Let's see you in another video soon. Keep watching our channel for more questions. Also, write your comments in the comment box below. Take care. Bye.